Welcome to Marshall University's Army ROTC Marketing and Strategy Presentation. My name is Cadet Kelly Gregg, majoring in Health Sciences, and I'm here with my team. Cadet Keith Schemmel, majoring in Business Management. Cadet Javon Hayes, majoring in Secondary Education. Cadet Brandon Murdoch, majoring in Biochemistry. Today's presentation we are going to cover our Marketing Strategy Plan. Those topics are going to include social media and how it enhances awareness at a low cost, Recruiting through relationships and ensuring that we build cohesive relations with our potential recruits. Community leaders and educators and how we involve them for local support. Mobile application technology to assist in recruiting as well and visual aids. I'll be briefing you today on social media. My points I want to hit are social media accounts we plan to use, hashtags, videos, and geofencing. So why is social media important? For the most part, it's free to users. It's free to us as marketers also. It's a tool for connecting people, marketers, and creating brand awareness. Use social media to expand your online footprint, create networks of online customers. You can engage customers directly and indirectly through messages and cadets, mainly the S5, and the recruiting officer and other cadre oversee the content for quality control. Next slide, please. So what social media sites do people use? According to a social media marketing industry report in 2012, it was found that Facebook is one of the top websites used at 92%, Twitter, and so on. Next slide. So what age of people use social media? Well, it's found out of all the internet users. Our target group, ages 18 to 29, use social media sites 90% of the time. Next slide, please. So I'll begin with Facebook. It has a large user base, over 1.6 billion and counting users. You can target users directly and indirectly through direct messages or upload content. You can upload a multitude of information, messages, videos, images. Facebook Page Insights is a valuable tool in monitoring our return of investment for using these sites. We can see when people look at our page, when is the best opportunity to upload content, and what to upload. You can create groups and events. This helps get out programs, get out awareness, and create a good user base. You stay connected with alumni, current students, prospective students, families, and their friends. And overall, you raise brand awareness. So Twitter. The downfall of Twitter is you're restricted to 140 characters, unlike Facebook. But the format is easy, allows for fast navigation, since there's not a lot of content uploaded. There are sites like search.twitter.com and Twello, which allow you to directly market to individuals that meet your criteria. You can upload genuine photos, videos, and other content. Instagram is a very valuable tool in our marketing strategy. It's mobile photo sharing, video sharing, and social networking site. Like the other programs, it allows for insight of who goes to the pages, who views your content, and what's the best opportunity for marketing. It's easy to use, all the content's laid out. It's mostly images, some videos. The format's appealing, and it allows for time management for cadets and cadre, because not only can you upload content to Instagram, but you can upload to other multimedia sites like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and this allows you to get the word out there, create brand awareness. Next slide, please. So hashtags. A lot of people don't actually know what a hashtag is, but the best way to put it is it's a phrase or series of words that allows you to target content and connect it into a network of related material that you can easily find. It draws attention to your material. It promotes your brand, and it's useful on all multimedia sites, 
most popularly Twitter and Instagram, but it can also be used for Facebook. Next slide, please. So videos. YouTube is probably the number one video website on the internet. Videos can be used on all multimedia formats, and it allows others to see what we as Marshall University ROTC is doing around the community, training purposes, and videos are very appealing content. A lot of people find it engaging because not only did they have a uh, motion picture in front of them, they have to put in the effort to click it and stay tuned. Next slide, please. So geofencing. Geofencing is pretty costly, but geofencing creates a geographical area to which if someone enters or leaves that area, they get a message or alert blast sent to them directly. This is a good site for getting the word out there, but again, it's costly. But it does allow you to monitor a return on investment. Thank you. I'm going to be going over recruiting through relationships. Cadet Lab Recruiting. Here we have uh, cadets from the state. The idea behind this is we want our cadets who are from the local area to go back to their high schools, talk to those students, talk to their old teachers, principals, and administrators, and just let them know their success stories. And hopefully through that we can get some of those students from that area to come and join our team. Another thing we have up here is cadets from outside of the state. Uh, what we want here is we want those cadets to get involved with uh, on-campus recruiting get them involved with sports activities, uh, clubs, and the Greek life. So, the Thundering Herd Battalion enjoys getting out there and hanging out with potential future Herd ROTC cadets. Uh, right here in the first picture we have some cadre and cadets out there at a summer training event and uh, they have plenty of potential prospects that will be present there. Uh, right here we have cadets informing other students in the student center about what kind of deals we have for them and uh, what kind of opportunities ROTC has in store. In the student center, students are constantly coming in and out all day, so it's a pretty prime spot for us to be set up there. Over here we have cadets and cadre providing support and mentorship during a local high school JROTC competition. <coughs> The Marshall ROTC Battalion has a diverse group of cadets, and we like to get those faces out there so the populace knows we're open for everyone. Having diverse or having cadets from different demographics uh, it appeals to the people and it lets them know that we want them to join our team. Another thing Marshall likes to do is we like to form bonds with other groups associated within the Marshall University community. Our relationship with the athletic department. Here we have some cadets performing color guard and our, another cadet also singing the national anthem for a baseball game. Over here we are actually uh, selling seats to the people coming in for the football games and not pictured up there we also sell parking lot spots and the athletic department contracted us and they let us get a percentage of the money we make that goes into our cadet fund. Over here, cadets also participating in the swim meet. Cadets here are serving as timekeepers. And over here, this year we started something new. This year we formed a bond with the men's basketball team and we had our own reserve student center spot. We came to all the home games and we showed support for uh, the basketball team and uh, it's always a good time. As you can see, cadets cheering with the cheerleaders. Community partners and allies. Right here we have the local Veterans Center, West Virginia National Guard, the uh, United States Army Reserve, and local area businesses. Throughout here you can see that our battalion visits the Huntington VA Hospital, also the uh, Barbersville Veterans Home, and we actually collected coats and other items for the Huntington Homeless Veterans Resource Center. Uh, Right here we actually had the opportunity to uh, go to the Barbersville Veterans Home during the holidays and we hand out gift bags and goodies for them as well. 
the SNP cadets. Right here, we have uh, relationships we hold with the National Guard and the U.S. Army Reserve. We have the opportunity to travel to the armories and get some hands-on experience as well. Uh, the opportunity to train with the National Guard and the Army Reserve units. These cadets, they get to shadow officers, uh, see what a PL actually does, and also it helps us get involved with current enlisted soldiers so they get some exposure to ROTC cadets and learn about uh, leadership opportunities. So, uh, university, campus, and alumni relationships. Right here we have the Office of Communications, Military and Veterans Affairs, Veterans Certification, Office of Recruitment, Advisors, and the Alumni Office. Community and campus leaders as well as our alumni are fantastic allies to have on our recruiting team. They will spread our message and our opportunities throughout the community. They are willing to lend support where budget constraints limit training and operation successes. It is important to foster these relationships and every cadet and cadre member are tasked with maintaining their military bearing and protecting the program's reputation while interacting within all these relationships. Hello, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about mobile applications and how we can use it to recruit an ROTC. Uh, iHeartRadio would be a significant technique that we can utilize. What it is, it's a free to use internet radio platform that pays plays all kinds of genres from country to rock to rap. So you will attract a wide range of demographics and a wide range of listeners. In fact, iHeartRadio already attracts 70 million listeners. Despite this being less than the users on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, it has proven to be more effective because there are less distractions due to being radio. Uh, in between each, every three songs, there are 10 15 and 30 second breaks in which commercials will be played and these commercials is where we can get the Marshall University Army ROTC name across. The uh, price of these commercials depend on the length whether you choose the 10 seconds, the 15 seconds, or the 30 seconds. Uh, web banners have become very common across social media websites as well as educational websites, especially uh, landing pages for universities. The web banners that are most popular are on iHeartRadio, Pandora, and Spotify, which attract a range between 70 million and 120 million listeners uh, nationwide. These banners are more effective than the 10, 15, 30 second commercials because they last the, the entirety of the song or the entirety of you being on that web page. The something that Marshall University already has in place is recruiting on 100 Key FM, which is a local radio station. Uh, this is a cheap advertisement that universities across the nation can do, because every university has a local college station on campus. Uh, the entire greater region, greater Huntington region uh, has 100, 100 key FM and already they have called in uh, inquiring about Marshall University ROTC, what we do, uh, when our events are, and how they can go about whether their parents, they, can, they ask about how the kids can get scholarships or kids call in and they ask questions about Marshall University ROTC. Uh, we have a plan in place already to expand our use of 100 key FM by upping the budget and increasing uh, commercials, uh, advertisements on 100 Key FM. Uh, another thing that we're looking at is partnering with the West Virginia National Guard uh, to create a symbiotic relationship that will benefit both of us. Together, we can give out information about the Guard through simultaneous membership programs, and the Guard can recommend the RC department uh, at Marshall University or at whatever university you're located at. The app that we are going to make is that interested students can download an app and it will give them alert updates regarding any kind of Marshall University ROTC event which can include a, a, fun, a 5k fundraiser for homeless veterans which we conduct, a, a SHARP Awareness Month, 
and so on and so forth. And the same thing goes for the West Virginia National Guard. If they have, a, have, have an event on campus or a recruiting event on campus, these interested students can go and check them out. And then, in turn, the West Virginia National Guardsmen can recommend ROTC to them. The, at Marshall University, any organization can go on the university uh, communication email list. That's something that most uh, clubs and uh, extracurricular activities at Marshall do, including ROTC. What this is, it contacts the 14,000 students that attend Marshall, and it informs them about ROTC, about what is going on, ranging from when classes are to when we are conducting FTXs and other recruitment, recruiting events, going to high school trips, and it will inform Marshall, the Marshall University public of uh, what ROTC is doing. Uh, Marshall University ROTC app is very enticing for college-age students. It's where most college-age students get their information from. And it can be easily created within an hour. And it is extremely cost-efficient and easy to download. And it is easy to maintain. Uh, it can alert potential recruits to partake in any events or enroll in military science classes, which is our end goal. I'm going to be discussing our visual aids here at Marshall University. An overview of our visual aids, our marketing items that we use for prospective cadets, our on and off campus advertising, our wear of our uniform, and multimedia broadcasting. Marketing items that we have here to include yearly planners, t-shirts, gym bags, stationery, and water bottles. Some of those items are here on this table. This is what we give to our prospective cadets at, in our program. On and off campus advertising. As you can see here, here's some photos from around campus that we have banners, sandwich boards that stand alone on sidewalks, and yard signs when we have upcoming ROTC events. Here at Marsh University, the cadets wear our uniform for our military science courses. And this is our multimedia broadcasting. We have these multimedia screens posted all around campus and it's a constant PowerPoint of what exactly ROTC does, what we offer in our upcoming events. Now for this competition, Marsh University has made a prom promotional video for this upcoming year. Marshall ROTC has prepared me to be the future leadership of today's Army through the academic curriculum and the physical challenges, as well as being given the opportunity to lead soldiers all the way from the team level and then up to the battalion level. I chose Marshall University because at the time I was a basic trainee uh, with the National Guard. I was talking to a friend of mine who got me really interested in the program when I was writing letters with them, so I decided to come to Marshall. I want to be a commissioned officer in the Army because I want to be the leader that can make a difference to soldiers and the one they can look up to and emulate and hopefully become a leader themselves. I am an Army cadet. Soon I will take an oath and become an Army officer committed to defending the values which make this nation great. Honor is my touchstone. I understand mission first and people always. I am the past, the spirit of those warriors who have made the final sacrifice. I am the present, the scholar and apprentice soldier enhancing my skills in the science of warfare and the art of leadership. But above all, I'm the future, the future warrior leader of the United States Army. May God give me the compassion and judgment to lead and the gallantry to win. I will do my duty. I'm a Green to Gold Scholarship recipient currently serving at Marshall University. Coming from the Corps of Non-Commissioned Officers to an Army Cadet Scholar, it definitely presented as transitioning challenges. Choosing Marshall University Army ROTC has made that transition seamless for me. By allowing me to focus on my academics, while enforcing my strengths, and developing leadership qualities that I did not know that I was capable of. Marsh University Army ROTC's smaller class sizes provide me with more in-depth one-on-one training and mentorship from our trained professional leaders that have paved the way for our future and invested in our individual success. Being an Army ROTC cadet at Marsh University is a tremendous privilege. 
I am honored to be receiving my degree from a university that shares the values of and supports our armed forces. I look forward to refining my craft to be the best Army Commission officer I can be and to represent Marsh University, the United States Army, and our nation proudly. In conclusion for today's presentation, there are many different recruiting techniques which we have covered today to include social media, mobile applications, visual aids, building strong relationships, and involving community leaders. We are subject to any of your questions.